people a wheelchair's got a problem, we'll fix it. We don't care what your injury is. You got the desire, we'll get you off the sidewalk. My name's Brad Sod, I'm the owner of Tank Chair. You got kids that have a football game in a muddy field, cross it. You wanna go fishing with your buddies, go fishing. If it snows, our chairs float right over the snow, it's no problem. As well as basically it's get off the couch and go enjoy life. She was crying one day after her injury and she couldn't go camping anymore. Um, her exact words were, go on without me. Um, I find that unacceptable, so I told her I would build her something. It took me two years and a bunch of beer in my garage to figure out the first model, uh, but since then, um, with now my applied science, we've been making leaps and bounds. A bunch of engineers told me it couldn't be done, and I still went ahead and did it. I think the most expensive one I put out there is a 53000 but that one can almost do your dishes. I'm not a big fan of this disposable world on all these parts, so we've actually made it so this thing will last um, you know, 15, 20 years. Made them tough. Literally, you can shoot mine, they still work. All the money that we make goes back into the research and development. We'll sit down, we'll come up with a, a problem, and we'll try and make a solution. That's the big thing in the world. Everybody can whine and cry about stuff. Critics are so easy to find. You can't, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one. However, finding somebody that actually comes up with the solutions is what we take pride in. Betty Jean's legs don't work properly. She can't walk. She loves her horses to death. Big smile on her face all the time. Uh, she had an unfortunate death with her husband. Kids are out of the house, so it is just her in the wheelchair taking care of the farm. I always go back and I check on her, and she didn't have the money to buy a new chair, so we sold her a used chair, but we retrofitted it. So if the horses got spooked while she was training them, she wouldn't have to worry about the tank you know, hurting them. And she can still get out and take care of the farm. If she couldn't do that, then you know the farm would go away. The mentality is there. It's just you know her body can't keep up. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Money does not drive me. This is all about you know the smiles on people's faces and you know all the families that I've helped. Basically, we figure out how much we need for overhead and parts. We take that money, we put it in the next one. We have no debt against the company. We do everything um, out of pocket. If we need the parts, we go down and pay for it. We don't take credit. It's cash money, and you know we'll get it done. I'm not rich, but I have a lot of fun. He's got one of the worst injuries, but it's about the mind and what do you want to do. Right now, he's in flight school, so a full quad, and he's out there. The guy's just amazing. Hey, you want to get up here with Dad? He's got a little boy, and the little boy has only known his dad being paralyzed. Dad, I'm up. Oh, yeah, we're going in the mud. Kids hauling butt across the grass, and here comes Chris. You know, he's, he's chasing his son. So little things like that just make this whole job worth it. Dad can go everywhere now, huh? Yeah. These troops went out and gave everything. I'm a combat vet myself. I was lucky enough to walk off the field with all my parts. See my brothers and sisters coming over without their parts. And the time you look around and this great nation was built because of those people. I'm not a big rah-rah type of guy, so I just, I get more pleasure watching other people have fun and you, just, you see a, a kid smile or, you know, you see the happiness and the tears of it. I, I can't really describe it. They just, it's just, yeah, man, I can't tell, I guess. It's just really cool. <laughs>